push. Three. No, this girl is somebody else's. I think I'm in love. She knows she bad. But what's new? Maybe the baddest. I want you, girl. I gotta have it. What it do? So, so today is July 29th, and I am in the hospital because. I was having like lots of contractions and stuff since like 12 at night. Well, 12 in the morning technically. Hold on, I'm having one right now. Anyway, so I was having lots of contractions. So I decided to come to the hospital around 5 in the morning. And around 6, they told me I was dilated 6 centimeters. I did not expect them to say that. I thought they were gonna say, oh, it's nothing, it's just Braxton Hicks, you can go home. So I was not prepared for that. I did not bring anything to the hospital with me. I was not prepared to stay. But my sister and my mom's on their way with stuff. And I'm just gonna bring y'all along on my labor and delivery journey. Oh my God. We're about to have a baby, y'all. Hi. I got some in my bag. I don't think you want to look cute. Basically, I, I didn't even know I had to pee, but obviously she said I had to pee. <laughs> yeah, I can't feel nothing but a stomach pain a little bit. So, if I poke you, you won't feel it? Probably. I, just, I, can't, I can't lift my leg, but I can move it. It feel like, like, you know, when your, when your, neck, your leg go numb, when you be sitting on it too long, that's what it feel like. That's my stop. I thought you wouldn't feel it. <laughs> you know I thought you would. That's what my whole bottom head feel like, like right? from from my waist all the way down to my toes. It feel like I sat on my foot too long. And a mask and a little hat, and put your legs up in stirrups, and we're gonna push for real and have a baby, okay? Um, but this time, I just kind of want to see how you are pushing, see how long it's gonna take baby to come out. Since this is your first time delivering, um, sometimes ladies push for a long time, and that's totally okay. If you push for two hours, that's that's normal, okay? I don't think it'll take that long though. You were pretty far down. Last time. You're gonna have some friends help hold your legs here. Mommy and help me. Okay. So everyone gets to be a part of the team. You ready, KK? Well, I don't want to hold my phone. My my arms hurt. I mean, this is this is a great hurt. I mean, this is new. To me. My sister is in here. Yeah. It looks anything but a nice completely opposite of the contraction. Deep breath. Hold your breath and push. 
Hold your breath. Push, 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 push. push. You're doing awesome. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe. Take a deep breath and push right. again. When you push, I want you to take a big deep breath in like you're about to go underwater, okay? Like, and then I want you to tuck your chin to your chest and kind of curl around that baby like you're half, like you're doing a crunch or a sit up or something. Um, and then hold that all in, hold all your energy and air and all the noises in for 10 full seconds. And then you can let it out, take another deep breath and do the same thing. We want to do that three times when every, every time you have a contraction, okay? Good, I just waste the whole contraction. You're okay. I'm just going to take a look. You okay? Lots of pressure here. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's definitely in zero. So here's just a quick little tip. If you go like this, mm -hmm. so you don't see the head, and I can feel the spines right here. Uh huh. She's not plus two. Okay. <laughs> have to push or do you feel like you could sit for a little bit without pushing you just have to push like you just can't stand it okay if you feel like you have to that's fine so what I would do is I would just take a glove here mm -hmm. and she's pushing and just hold this cervix up anteriorly okay and try and get her to push past it yeah. all right let's get you but see how the baby recovers nicely and really yes. reacts to that scalp zoom that I was just doing Nothing feels better than this. Nothing feels better. Nothing feels better than this. Nothing feels better. I'm not. We don't got it hard. This is what you like, I admit. Nothing feels better than this. You say we're just friends, but I swear when nobody's around. Down there, Howard. He almost five hours old. Hi, YouTube. Yeah, everything went good. It took me three hours to get him out. Three hours. More than three hours. Almost four. Yeah, every, it didn't really hurt when I was giving birth, but my my um epidural raw is it, gone now. The only thing hurt is my butt. My butthole hurt. I don't crazy. think they want to know your butthole hurt. Like, I, uh, my mom said it was four and a half hours. She sat over there and did the math. Ooh. It hurt a lot. And this is all he's been doing since he came out. Cried a little and just sleep. He is so peaceful. Baby's not born with no hair on their face. Like, he ain't got no eyelashes, no eyebrows. I'm probably gonna take a nap again and give them to my sister. Cause my thighs starting to hurt. Man, that baby heavy. <laughs> like, you don't think a baby like now. That baby heavy. I'm talking about my baby. <laughs> he came out being heavy. He ain't even had nothing to drink yet. I'm talking about my baby. We we was eating good, weren't we? We was eating good. I'm talking about my baby. <laughs> we was eating good. You heavy.
feels better than this. 